As part of Coaches vs. Cancer, Mountain View High School, Ockham Trail High School, I'd like to first of all thank you all for participating this evening. Thank you for taking part in our raffles. I want to thank both of our teams. And we have two fantastic speakers tonight to talk to you about their survival stories. The first person that will be speaking tonight is Mrs. Julie Harvatine. May I have a round of applause for Mrs. Harvatine, please? Holly, Luke, Macy, and Callie. See, I knew. So, thanks, Holly, for the heads up. <laughs> thanks, Dr. Lum. So, I had cancer in 2016. I found out in December 2015. Um, I'm BRCA1 positive. So, there's a lot of different variations in cancer. I won't go into the boring details, uh, but what cancer is, is it doesn't discriminate upon anyone. It doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't matter if you're white, doesn't matter if you're red, doesn't matter if you're, you know, any, any color, race, nationality, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a girl, doesn't matter if you're a boy, it does not discriminate. But what cancer does is brings a community together. I think both of the other speakers tonight will definitely agree that what cancer does is it brings community together and it brings community together to uplift all of us. It is a hard time. It is not just a hard time for the person who has cancer, but everyone around them. And I know for a fact I would not have gotten through, my kids would not have gotten through, my husband would not have gotten through anything without the community coming together and lifting all of them up while I could not. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Argentine. Our next speaker is a person who is probably one of the most loved teachers here at Mountain View. <laughs> she has taught everything, and it seems like she's taught everyone. So please welcome another fantastic survivor, Mrs. Charlene Martin. And 
I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Remember, donating blood might not be something you want to do, but there are people out there who are alive and who are grateful and who will forever be thankful to you for doing that. Thank you. Our final speaker this evening is Mrs. Nancy Gerfin. Have a round of applause, Mrs. Gerfin. Mrs. Gerfin is a Jesse is a Mountain View graduate and our men's volleyball coach and our starting center, Rachel Gerfin. Mrs. Gerfin, thank you and please share your story with us this evening. Thank you. All right, thank you so much uh, for all the love and support that you give anybody who is uh, dealing with cancer. I was diagnosed when Rachel was just three years old. So I'm a 15 year cancer survivor. But the sad truth is I'm here, I got lots of prayers, but I know people that aren't here that got lots of prayers too. As Julie mentioned, it happens without any discrimination. It can happen to anyone. I just want to say um, it's really important to give money to the American Cancer Society because they do remarkable stuff that helps people live longer and survive. And I just want to mention my mom, who had many family members, it's a hereditary thing, um, dealing with this, uh, was in what was called the STAR study when I was just a teenager. And because of that, we had tamoxifen. She was a participant, and they found something that is really remarkable in the breast cancer fight. So please, if you can, uh, give what you can. We appreciate you all coming out. And I can't wait to see all these same survivors and uh, caregivers and everyone again next year. Thank you. Thank you. As you said, there are baskets out here. Please uh, feel free to take a look at those and, and donate. And also, she ran out of here very quickly, but the person who helped put this together in a very, very short amount of time tonight is the president of our Women's Basketball Booster Club. So Dawn Neary will not come out here, but can you please give Mrs. Neary a round So in a very brief period of time, Mrs. Neary made sure that this event is going to take place and did so and went and got everybody to donate gifts and donate their baskets. And so Mrs. Neary, thank you very much for all that you've done to make this a success tonight. Thank you. Thank you so very much.